Hey, I'm Hannah Weiss, the Director of Education at the Science Museum of Western Virginia, and this is your Moment of STEM. And this week, we're going to talk about the cat fox. So earlier this month, researchers and wildlife specialists in France caught the attention of the internet and, you know, me, by releasing information about a potential new species of feline, a cat fox. Now, these are animals that, on the island of Corsica, where they were discovered, have been part of mythology and legend and folklore for generations. But they weren't even seen or captured until 2008, when one was accidentally captured. And it wasn't until the past couple of years that researchers have even been able to do any analysis on them. However, they are very, very different than the house cats that a lot of people thought they might have been. Though they're pretty close to the same size, they have a lot of differences. For example, they have some very distinctive features on their tails, some very specialized patterns. And also, their canine teeth are a lot bigger. Scientists have even been able to do some genetic analyses on them, and that's where stuff gets really interesting. Because they have found out that these animals are very different than the European wildcat. So, there are two species of wildcat that are kind of genuinely, or generally, recognized. The European wildcat and the African wildcat. But these cat foxes from Corsica are not very closely related to the European wildcat. They're more closely related to the African wildcat, which says some really interesting things about how they might have gotten to the island. Now, it's also really cool that we've discovered these animals because they're mammals. And though we discover somewhere on the round 25 new mammals a year, it's very rare to discover a new mammalian carnivore. Of course, it's not super clear that these animals are carnivores, but with them being felines, it's highly likely that they are. So this could be a very rare discovery. It's also really neat, though, because it brings into kind of the public sphere this big question about what a species is. Now, this may not seem like a huge question, because species is one of those things that we learn about, sometimes even in grade school. But biologists don't generally agree on what a species is. But the word is really, really important to wildlife conservationists, biologists, and specialists who need to use this definition to find new protections for these animals. So defining a species is something that is crazy important. But if you'd like to dig any deeper into the wildcats, the relative rarity of discovering new carnivores, or even what defines a species, you can check out any of the links below. Otherwise, I'm Hannah Weiss from the Science Museum of Western Virginia. And did you know the fastest way to start an argument between a group of biologists is to ask them to define a species? You should try it sometime. It's really funny. <laughs>